Hey, this is Divine 219 Lady. I wanted to talk to you guys about the dream I had last night. Very short dream. However, I wanted to get a little insight on some of the things that took place in that dream. If anybody has any insight or any comments related to the dream I've had. Now, I know we have this war going on um, or about to go on with Ukraine and Russia. We also know that um, Israel's been um, just sending missiles or bombs to Syria, as well as other neighboring um, countries and cities. And we also know that Damascus is going to be a city one day, and then the next day is going to be completely ruined. And how things are going currently in the year 2022, it just seems as if things are falling into play as revelation stated and i don't know anyone out here who can disagree especially if you're christian especially if you're in end time prophecy the things that are taking place currently you gotta gotta bring chills to you not in a bad way but in a way that wow you know we're that close to the end that our lord is coming to come get us rapture us so on and so forth so this, um, I've been following up on, you know, Russian news, Ukraine U news, China news, you know, Jerusalem news, Israel news. I just go and Google those type of things. I Google earthquakes happening today, volcanoes, tsunamis, you know, mudslides. I do those on a regular basis. Then not too long ago, those birds last week fell from the sky. Just a group of the same type of birds just fell fell in abundance out of the sky dead and then all over the world there were different crows dying different types of birds dying and you know and just thinking about revelation saying that a third of the animals will die so on and so forth it's just maybe that could be psychologically in the back of my head that's going on however this dream i was in the side i was in my car in a drive through at mcdonald's now, I was ordering, I'm not even thinking, I don't even know what I was ordering, but I, I remember the details. I was giving the young lady um, cash money and she took my money and she gave me back change in my hand. Now, in my dreams, I feel things. I see color. I feel people who touch me. I touch them back. I can just, it's like real life to me. And I don't know I'm, that I'm dreaming until it's almost time to wake up. And then I realized, dang, well, if I was dreaming, I should have went over here and did this. Or I should have went over there and did that. However, she gave me, she gave me um, my change. I gave her the, the money. She put the change in my hand. I felt her put it into my hand. And I put it over to the side on my passenger seat. Um, I moved up a little bit. Um, she gave me my bag. And I moved up the, a little bit. And I looked over to the right and I noticed a parking structure um filled with cars now here's the thing I really can't say if it was a parking structure but it appeared to me as a parking structure however it still puts you in the mind of Caesar's Palace the way it was set up the parking structure it had cars in there, but it was set up like Caesar's Palace from way, way, hundreds and thousands of years ago. It was set up like that. How the windows was, um, how the building stood. And in every window was some type of military figure. Um, they had, I don't know, if, I, don't, I can't tell you if it was army clothes or what, but I knew that was from the military. They were all in every window. They had their guns out. Things were being bombed. Cars were being bombed. This particular area was being bombed. And as I looked over from the drive-thru, I'm like, are we at war? That's all I kept saying. Are we at war? And if we are, this is like close to home. This is close. I'm at McDonald's and the war is happening like diagonally across the street. And there was no warning. There was no indication of a, a pending war or the war was going on. You just happened to see it right then and there. And so I tried to really look at the people that was there. I was trying to see if it was our U.S. soldiers 
or if it was from another country that was in, that was invading our space. But I knew that it was a war between, you know, U.S. soldiers and whoever else outside of our, our United States grounds. And I just couldn't tell who occupied that building with those bombs. And so the first thing I thought, let me call my mother and ask her about it or warn her about it. But then I end up waking up. So that was the dream. I am still trying to figure out what was the purpose of that dream. Was that a dream to warn that the United States will be facing an impending war soon? Will it come to our land since we always are in everybody else's land? Will something hit our land? Or <clears throat> was that just showing me what's going to happen pretty soon with Russia and Ukraine? I don't know. But because it was home, United States, that's that's where I stay. Because it was home, I figure it has something to do with here. So that's my dream. Um, leave a comment. Um, let me know what you think. I have no idea. That dream was very short-lived, but I think it was very impactful. I didn't fear, but I had the thought of fear. I didn't fear. I wasn't like, oh my God, I got to take shelter. But I was thinking like, goodness, should we be telling people of this war or what, are we should, what should we do? So that's it. I am Divine219Lady. Leave a comment and I'll talk to you next time.